kids. Welcome back to week 16, day two. And our highlight verse today is 1 Samuel 19, 1 through 2. Okay, read it with me in the King James Version. 1 Samuel 19, 1 through 2. And Saul spake to Jonathan, his son, and to all his servants that they should kill David. But Jonathan, Saul's son, delighted much in David. And Jonathan told David, saying, Saul, my father seeketh to kill thee. Now, therefore, I pray thee, take heed to thyself until the morning and abide in a secret place and hide thyself. 1 Samuel 19, 1 through 2, the New International Reader's Version. Saul told his son Jonathan and all the attendants to kill David. But Jonathan liked David very much. So Jonathan warned him, my father Saul is looking for a chance to kill you. Be very careful tomorrow morning. Find a place to hide and stay there. Okay, so what does all that mean for us today? King Saul was jealous and afraid of David, and Saul wanted to kill him. You see, at first, King Saul was very happy that David killed Goliath, and King Saul was very happy with David playing the harp for him to get rid of the evil spirits that tormented King Saul. So... Why is King Saul all of a sudden upset with David and jealous of David? It turns out that they were praising all of David's winnings versus King Saul's winnings. They feel like, and the Israelites felt like King Saul wasn't as good as David. King Saul felt threatened by David, whom God had chosen to be the king of Israel. So Saul ordered his son, Jonathan, and all his servants to kill David. Jonathan was David's best friend, and he did not want him to be killed. So Jonathan loved David very much and helped hide him from Saul. Now, how can we apply this to our life? Well, Jonathan was a true friend to David, just like Jesus is a true friend. He paid the price for our sins on the cross, and he talks to God for us, about us. With a parent, talk about your own friendships and what it means to have or be a true friend. Do you have a true friend like Jonathan? Now, I want you to think about this, and I, after you think about it, then go to your parents and explain to them what you just read. Tell them what you just learned about Jonathan and Saul and David and how Jonathan was a true friend and he helped David escape. Now, if you were in trouble, who would help you? Now, all of us have King Jesus to help us. So we can praise the Lord that we have one that is a true friend, right? We can always trust in Jesus. Now you go and think about it and talk with your parents. Now let's respond in prayer. Oh, Jesus, thank you so much for being my friend. We praise your holy name. Amen. Amen. Now it's time for our memory verse. 2 Timothy 4.17a, the King James Version. Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might be fully known, and that all the Gentiles might hear, and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. 2 Timothy 4.17a Notwithstanding, the Lord stood with me and strengthened me, that by me the preaching might be fully known, 
and that all the Gentiles might hear, and I was delivered out of the mouth of the lion. Now for the New International Reader's Version. 2 Timothy 4, 17a. The Lord stood at my side. He gave me the strength to preach the whole message. Then all the Gentiles heard it. I was saved from the lion's mouth. 2 Timothy 4, 17a. The Lord stood at my side. He gave me the strength to preach the whole message. Then all the Gentiles heard it. I was saved from the lion's mouth. Let us give thanks for the word of God. Amen. All right. We'll see you next time. <laughs>